Well, welcome to the Filthy Good Vino Bread Files. Today we're making a, the, a piece of bread table loaf, a slight variation with a tiny little bit of oat flour, a tiny little bit of corn flour, and two stars instead of one. So we're aiming for the same kind of final dough temperatures, uh, but uh, we'll be proving at ambient temperature, given this is winter. And we're down to around about 6 degrees overnight to 10 degrees overnight. The garage will probably see this proving at around about 10 to 12 degrees. So this has now been uh, mixed after the flowers have gone through and uh, autolyse. And we're now at the stage where we're going to do the second fold. So I wanted to show you how extensible the dough is now and how I go about doing a fold. So what I'd like to do is use these big, and you can see the stretch in this already, these big uh, pastry uh, spatulas uh, and cutters because I can stretch the dough really evenly over them. So I scrape it in and get under this tub, and this is about four loaves worth of dough. And I just lift it up and let it slowly cascade over the spatula. And you can feel it tightening up as you do that. And we'll then go to the other side, give it a mix. You can see it again cascading up. And the stretch on that's pretty wicked. And that's looking pretty good. Go to the other corner, so basically stretching it four ways. It's already, you can feel it's tight, there's not much to stretch there. Um, that's stretched in. Go through the last corner. Last little bit goes. And I tend to just sort of kind of try and flip it a little bit over, but it's not super critical. Scrape it back in so all the dough's in a, in a big clump. And then we can uh, let that finish pop ferment before we uh, go on and shape it. So that's how I would do a fold for this little baby. So thanks for joining us on the Filthy Good Vino Bread Files. And we'll uh, come back with a few more updates over time. There you go, stretch and fold.